Meanwhile, king tides are expected again tomorrow morning. ABC 10 News reporter Perla Shaheen shows us how these waves can cause flooding in our coastal neighborhoods if proper steps aren't taken. We've all heard about high tides, which happen twice a day, but king tides only happen around twice a year. These almost seven foot tides change our coastline. Gosh, they're so beautiful. In a way that needs to be captured. Areas that we know and love are completely underwater. The Kendall Frost Marsh is one spot where you can really see the difference. The marsh extends as far as that, and so it's only the high ground that's really not underwater. These are drastic changes for us, and more so for these guys. A lot of the birds that normally will be in the marsh come out around the edges and birders can see them. Plenty of bird conservationists came out to get a better look. We go out and we try to estimate how many birds are we're anticipating will be part of the breeding population. They're keeping track of these birds because some of them are going extinct. And this marsh is one of their last homes in Mission Bay. Mission Bay used to look like this all over the place, but now this is all that we have left for this habitat. Andrew Meyer with the Audubon Society says this marsh also protects our coastline from flooding and erosion. This is the kind of coastal infrastructure that we need and we need to restore uh, throughout the city of San Diego. These beautiful waters, a warning of what could come with sea levels rising. Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News. And you can help researchers learn more about king tides by recording them. The California King Tides Project is asking you to capture and share photos of the shorelines this weekend. This will help them create a record of changes to our coast and give us a picture of what the sea level may be in the future. We have a link to instructions as well as where you can find king tides on our website, 10news.com.